We are doing our Not Friday Five. This time we're doing top interior offensive linemen. Get right into it, starting with number five, Corey Lindsley. Now, in my opinion, this guy is the gold standard at the center position. Aaron Rodgers loved him. He goes out to uh, not San Diego anymore, out to L.A. Justin Herbert loves him, too. This guy is smart. He's got really good technical skills, and he's been a player who's found his way into this league and how to work with big-time quarterbacks. That's the most important thing for centers. They got to be the quarterback up there on the offensive line, communicate some of the games that are coming, name out all of the fronts. He's been a guy who's been able to do it, and he executes with finesse phenomenally within his game. Number four, Creed Humphrey. Now, this is a young player, but he is certainly the most athletic player out of anybody that's going to be up here on this list, and he uses that athleticism to his ability, really light on his feet, can get around on that offensive line, and some gap schemes, really good at climbing in the zone schemes as well. Uh, a guy who has just played extremely well. Some people might say it's a little early to put him on the top five. Not for me. Number three, Wyatt Teller. Now, when you talk about a junkyard dog, you talk about an offensive lineman that you don't want to get into a street fight with, this is a guy right here. He's strong as all get out, plays really, really well. You can see him in the run game as a true road grader type of guy. And that's what you want with some of these interior guys. They got to be nasty up there. You got a 300 pound defensive tackle across from you. You got to get them up off the ball. His ability to do that is phenomenal. Number two, and this one might be the most fun out of all these guys to watch is Quentin Nelson. You watch his highlight tape as an interior offensive lineman and it, it almost feels like you're watching a skill position guy. You talk about the physicality, you talk about the edge, you talk about the nastiness. It all exists there. He's fundamentally sound. He understands uh, how to play the game up front. Still a little bit raw in some spaces, but it doesn't matter because the dude's just got brute strength and knock some guys out. But number one, this shouldn't be a surprise, Zach Martin has been a really good player for a long time in the NFL. Last year, I believe, he only gave up one sack in all of his pass protection reps, which is a phenomenal number there. He's a guy who's rarely penalized as well. Um, everything that you want, this is what he provides to the game. Plays it clean, gets after guys in a wild way, protects his quarterback, which is the most important trait to have out of any of these. But these guys, you get into a bar fight one day, you, you, you hope that one of these guys is on your team because they're going to knock somebody out, and that's why I'm not going to mess with them. But my Not Friday 5 interior offensive lineman.